Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I promised, I did stop going to Slimworld. So this week just gone, um, I didn't go for a weigh-in. Instead, I went to the gym. And this is my second week now at the gym and I am loving it. I absolutely am. And I think I've gone eight times now in two weeks. Well, it's not even two weeks actually. Um, because I started on the Friday and today's a week on Saturday so actually I've literally gone every day but one um, since I joined and I am really really enjoying it and I'm really pushing myself so that I can get back to being toned as well so yeah and I've con contained I've continued with my slim world sort of food and I've lost nearly 10 pound in about two and a half weeks so I'm really really pleased and um, I'm gonna keep on going until I hit my target range again so um, I've been trying to avoid carbs but tonight I'm gonna have carbs because I'm going to make a seafood risotto and I haven't had risotto for ages and I do love it and my husband's not always massively keen on risotto but it's his idea to cook it tonight so I wasn't gonna say no so I'm just gonna show you how I do it and it's gonna be a delicious Right, okay, so I hope you can see that. So I've got half of a red chilli, it was quite a large one. I've got one shallot, and I've also got one teaspoon, or, yeah, teaspoon, yeah, I am right, I had to think about that then, of garlic. So I'm just gonna put that into my pan, and I'm just gonna fry this all off together, so get some heat underneath there. So they've just started to soften up. So now I'm going to add in 300 grams of risotto rice. And this is carnaroli. Um, any risotto rice is fine. So I'm just going to put that in there. This is 300 grams that's going to go in. Okay, and then what you need to do is just fry off your rice your pan as well. Just fry it off for just a couple of minutes really. Now in a minute I'm going to add some white wine to this. So you do need to sin this. Um, if you don't want to use wine you can just use stock but I am going to use wine and you do need to use a good wine and for me I'm going to be using I don't know if I can show you this can you see this this is slimline wine so this is lower calorie than normal wine it's got no sugar no carbs no fat no saturated um, fats or anything else so this is just brilliant wine and it tastes amazing never cook with wine that you wouldn't drink I think that's cooked off enough. Perfect. So I'm just going to add about 100 millilitres of wine into this. Put that back in the fridge. Give that a little stir. What I want is the wine to evaporate. So if you're worried about, you know, you can't have this if you're driving, there'll be no alcohol left by the time you finish this dish. Okay, so that's lovely, that's all evaporated. And now what I'm gonna to start to do is incorporate some of the liquid into this so i've got fish stock <coughs> and you just need to keep adding as much as you need but a little bit at a time okay don't want to pour it all in otherwise it'll end up mush So what you want is for this existing liquid to have evaporated before you start adding more liquid and this is going to take about 14 15 minutes to do this so it's not a quick thing to do but it's worth the patience
right i think that's done just before it's literally completely done what you want to do is add in your seafood now i would do this normally thawed but i didn't have time so i am actually going to add in frozen seafood and it's just a mixed selection from morrison's um, add in whatever seafood you like so what i'm going to have to do with this is make sure it is thoroughly cooked through and what i will do is i will just mix it all in like this and then what i'm going to do is pop the lid on just for a couple of minutes i'm going to add a little bit more juice go so I'm just gonna put the lid on that now just for two to three minutes just to make sure that all that seafood defrosts nicely so I'm just gonna leave that for a minute right I think this looks like it should have been heated through enough just give it a quick stir just check my prawns yeah no definitely one through right so now i'm going to add in about 150 grams of chopped cherry tomatoes you can take the seeds out life's too short <laughs> i'm just going to mix that in look at the colors doesn't it look amazing okay and then just to finish it i'm going to add some handfuls of chives and parsley perfect just give that a mix in and then we are almost good to go just want those tomatoes warmed through I would say we are done. And there you go. Really, really simple. It takes a bit of time just to get the rice right, but it is worth the effort. And don't forget you need good wine. So slimline wine, definitely for me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget you need to subscribe, click notifications, and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. I'll let you know how my weight loss and my inches are going from going to the gym. I'll see you soon. Bye.